What the hell? So this is the final camp. What is this? Oh wait, is, is there? Oh no. Hmm. Okay. Still don't understand resources. how they went back in time to get here sooner. They didn't go back in time, stupid. Their ship was just faster than ours was. I don't think that's true. Hmm. They left so much out there, like, what? Oh, now you can go complete challenges slash DLC. Yeah. What the hell is this? Interesting. So this leads to the expeditions. I have the storm. I see. I wonder if the story continues here or not. I mean, based on this, it looks like it may, but, like, I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Playing through the expeditions. <laughs> I think the story's over, but obviously this is, you know, an open-ended game, so... Team with other players and face Enoch's challenges to com collect drop pod resources and powerful gear. Expedition difficulty is determined by the selected challenge tier. This fast way to unlock new tiers is to play on the highest currently available tier. Better completion times mean more tiers are unlocked and more drop pod resources are gathered. Loot from enemies is collected from expeditions. If you win, it will be available from the drop pod. If you fail, it will be available from the loot chest in the preparation room. Tears progression, unlock new locations, unlock chairs, and gather 40,000 draw powders to embark on the final expedition to the Eye of the Storm. Final fight and boss. Okay, so there is a final boss fight. Um, Alright, well, I mean, the main story's done, though. So... There's that, at least. In the end, only Monroy and a small group with them survived the slaughter outside the walls. They hid in the caravel for decades, waiting for rescue from the Floris. So sorry to disappoint them. Clearly things didn't go any better inside the ship. Nope. Supplies ran out, and they hunted each other down one by one, until only Monroy was left. A fitting end. Forty thousand. I mean, look. I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean you have to do forty thousand expeditions. Let's relax. I mean, I hope not, because that would be insane. You know, I'm I'm hoping that, depending on how you do, you get up to like a thousand, ex. You know, uh, resources, which would mean you'd have to do forty of them, which is not terrible. It's a lot, terrible but it's not terrible. Or maybe, if you do well enough, doing all of these will give you enough to get to the Eye of the Storm. Either way, it's a lot. But, I mean, you know, it's meant to be an open-ended game, so... It makes sense why they would do it, right? Outrider. Guess we didn't make such a bad team after all. Anything to say? Wait, hang on. He has something new here. We need to re drop dropout resources. When I left the deserters to join you that day, I did not believe we would make it this far. Even less so after I lost faith in our mission. But you stayed the course. I guess I'm too stubborn to know when to quit. <laughs> I am grateful for it, my friend. Seeing the hope in those people's eyes now, I feel like myself again. However, I don't need to tell you that our journey is not over. I was hoping you'd say that. We may have brought the pods down, but they are scattered all over Enoch. We will have to recover them one by one. Finding them won't be easy, and we're not the only ones interested. But... I have a proposal for you, Outrider. Let's hear it. When you recover a drop pod, bring the resources inside to me. With Bailey's help, 
I will trade the contents to Juno and Corrigan and your Grand Marshal Shira. We let them divide the materials and in return, they ship us gear from their arsenal for our journeys outward. So I take it you're back with us then, Tiago. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, but with you, my friend. Okay, that was abrupt. Outrider, you gave me the opportunity to be the person I want to be. Hey, you. You did good. But I always knew you would. Even if my vision of the garden wasn't what I thought it'd be. Guess the future's never gonna be exactly what you think. Psychic or not, if there's one thing I've learned from all of this, it's don't follow your dreams. <laughs> Damn, that's dark. So, 40... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, 40,000. <laughs> so let's see. I'll try out these. I'm going to try them out. Try out the expeditions and see what they're like. See if they're interesting, if they're worth playing through. And then based on that, I'll see if I... Uh, I'm going to continue playing this game until new DLC comes out, so... Oh, it changed. Okay. Boomtown. So they're randomized, huh? See the boss is minimum fifteen, tier fifteen. Oh damn. So I wonder if I'll even be able to do it. Like if I do at tier one. Will I even be able to, like, unlock the next tiers? I feel like no. Let's see, let's try the Paxine Homes. This one was kind of cool. A group of refugees have gone missing. People close to them mentioned they went looking for a drop pod that was seen falling in the area. Alright, let's try this one. Chana, I need your help. A group of the survivors that followed us out to the caravel, they've gone missing. I think we owe it to them to try and make sure they're okay. Okay. I figured this would be their... their place. I'm not the only one here. Cool. 
inner yard. Oh crap. Wonder... Bam. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, fuck! Oh! Yo, Max! What the hell is this? There's ferals in the farm. No sign of the survivors. Okay. Oh no, not this guy. Oh my god, these guys are so strong. Bro. So well done, you found a pot. Gonna give you a hard time for an Oh god! Oh, 
They didn't make it. The survivors found a pod, but they got caught before they could open it. That is a shame. Whatever you can recover from that pod, we'll use it to honor those poor lost souls. All right, let's see. Let's see what the fuss is about. Outrider detected. Access granted. Okay. There's titanium. Bad. Bunch of blues. Bunch of leather. Oh, damn. Oh nice, I got an upgrade. Alright, cool. I actually got two upgrades, nice. Oh damn. Three upgrades, okay. Not bad. Well, I see these things are kind of worth doing. But I mean... Story-wise, it's like, eh, doesn't really add anything to that. Um, well, I guess... Wow, there's one, like, right here. That's funny. I didn't realize that. I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna call it here, because, I mean, you know, like I said, I only really wanted to try this out to see how the expeditions were. And they're kind of cool, you know, like, they're replayable, they're randomized, I mean, there is a boss at the end, but you have to play them a lot in order to get to that point, so... 
they're meant to be just like repeatable, you know, missions that you can do for gear and loot and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna call it here, and I'm probably just gonna put this game down until you know there's DLC. Hopefully, there's like actually story DLC coming to this game. If not, then this will probably be my last video on this game. Um, I do have like you know a couple of achievements that I have to clean up and a couple of side missions, but they're mostly just like the hunting missions like that. So I think I'm gonna just do that probably just like you know off offline and stuff like that um off stream and uh well yeah so anyway guys well it's the it's the end of a journey for now so uh thank you guys for joining me for those who are watching and i hope you guys enjoyed as always and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video have a good one